Hey guys, well, welcome back to our channel. Um, glad you guys come back to, to, to see us and uh, just wanted to catch up a little bit here in the shop on Sunday afternoon here. Uh, we have been back from Iron Man for about a week now and uh, had a good race and a good season and uh, um, you know, I'll catch you up a little bit. But uh, uh, Brandon has, uh, him and Kyla uh, uh, have got their own place now, their own house. So they have moved out. Uh, Brandon has moved out of the house here with uh, me and his mom. And uh, me and mom are now uh, uh, empty nesters. Is that what you call it? Anyway, uh, damn near 50 years old. But uh, anyway, uh, enjoyed the last week. And uh, of course, Brandon still works with us. But Brandon has uh, been busy doing that. So uh, pretty much uh, not been working on quads this week. Uh, pretty much because of that. Uh, been busy at the shop. Actually worked up there today. Worked up there all day yesterday, Saturday, and then half a day today. And then come home and I wanted to get some stuff done today here on the can am renegade and then uh, i had to pull an axle bearing out of a a um a golf cart which i didn't video that but i had to do that on the press over there but uh, don't have a press at the cart shop so uh anyway uh getting ready to get after it uh we got a 2023 build coming up that we got to get started on and uh for brandon a can am renegade 1000 and uh, we're gonna get started on that and uh and then uh, just refresh some of these other ones here. But uh, the other two quads that uh, Brandon races, this is the 850 here. Uh, the other two quads that uh, we own uh, are Can-Am 1000s. They are at Derisi Racing in North Carolina. Uh, as you guys saw in my, our last video, Derisi Racing and James Reese prepped uh, the Can-Am Renegade 1000 for Brandon, and we was able to fly to the races, which was very good, and uh, we appreciate that. And uh, so anyway, uh, there will be a Mideast race coming up, I think, in a couple of weeks maybe three weeks, I can't remember, uh, I think week before Thanksgiving, uh, we would be picking up those two quads at that point and bringing them back to Florida. And uh, at that point, uh, go through them, and uh, I think they'll be pretty much uh, FTR four-wheelers uh, and then practice bikes and that kind of stuff. Uh, we had thought about selling this 850 here, but uh, maybe not. Um, uh, it's a good quad. This is a quad that Brandon raced all year last year in GNCC and really likes it. And uh, this is the quad here that uh, Brandon raced uh, FTR, uh, Florida first Florida Trail Riders on this year, two weeks ago, and won the overall on it. And uh, that's a BNR built uh, 2000, I think it's a 19. Uh, we just got this quad back. Uh, Brandon ran XC2 with this quad and actually finished third on the podium there at Florida in XC2 and uh, the, the Michael Chudonis, the, the boy we got it from, um, had tore it all down and had it repowder powder coated this purple looking color for I think it was, uh, uh, I can't remember, some, some kind of cause, dang it, I'm sorry guys, I can't remember, but anyway, that's the reason why it's purple and uh, so we, we went ahead and left it. Kyla's quad sitting over here in the corner here, uh, it's all ready to go, we got a 784 Brandon Frazier. Uh, hoodie on top of it, but uh, it's ready to go. She ran really well and uh, look forward to some more races with her and uh, She's very excited. She finished second at the first Florida trail riders uh, race. So All right, let me catch up what we're gonna do. So the 850 so so the last time we ran this 850 was when we was up there testing with James Reeves and uh, Santo Derisi up at the property up there and uh got this quad really really good brandon really fell in love with it uh, now they fine-tuned the shocks for us uh up there and uh really got it handling exceptionally well brandon really liked it had a few problems at that same time um and we've just been so busy we haven't got back to it obviously we had those four races to do for the nationals we wanted to finish out the race the, the season strong um uh, it would have been a little closer for the championship deal for us. We just had a ninth place finish at one of the races where the uh, the lap rider uh, went up to get out of Brandon's way and then slid back down into him. That 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 created a ninth place finish for us. That pretty much took us out. And uh, so anyway, at that point we were just hanging on to second, hopefully, and uh, we did. So we're very grateful for that. Uh, only um, finished one position in front of the rider that could have finished second also. Uh, Hayden Mickelson. So uh, we're very grateful for that. Brandon had a really good race at Ironman and uh, Hayden uh, was right there. I think within seconds, within less than 10 seconds behind us, we could have finished third. That would have been the tiebreaker. So, uh, but anyway, we finished second in points, which is uh, we're the number two rider for the year. Uh, still going to have the, the Icon 784 number on there. We've told you that until we win the championship, until we get the number one number. So, uh, 
maybe next season we're going to go out for it next season so anyway this quad here this quad here handled exceptionally well two problems had an exhaust uh leak there at the end and then also we had uh, a cotter pinner cotter pin fell here this axle come really loose uh, I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, that tire wheels quite a bit. Brandon was losing rear brake. Well, it turns out that the cotter pin broke on us again. And um, when it does that, what it does, it turns around the rotor there and it pushes the brake pads away from it. And you have to pump it a couple of times, get it to grab. Uh, Got to repair that. Uh, not sure what caused that to break. We don't normally have those kind of problems, but that, that did. Not sure if we put a cheap cotter pin in there or what. Uh, so got to fix that now the other thing is is uh, this quad's got an exhaust leak and the reason why it's got an exhaust leak because if you guys remember right on this 850 we had a, a motor engine mount um this is it here okay that we had broken oh goodness probably a year ago it had broken right here and we couldn't get this this was on back order at the time so i welded that one up grinding it down and uh it's been on there ever since uh we put that quad back together and it's been fine although now it is broken and what's happening is it's allowing the motor as brandon gets on the throttle it's allowing the motor to torque back and forth like that and i think it has broken our exhaust somewhere in here so i've got to get this shroud off here obviously got to get i'll show you that mount there when i would get to it there and um get that mount off so i can repair it we have since got the new one uh these were on back order um these were on back order for some time so uh that's the reason why we have not replaced it yet so uh i'm gonna try to do all this within uh before my gopro goes dead my gopro don't have a lot of battery in it but i figured i'd go ahead and get you guys while i'm out here on sunday afternoon just to do this little bit here all right i got this shroud off here um let's see here uh, yeah this, this shroud here so i got the exhaust shroud off and uh ironically so let me show you see if i can show you guys what's broken here so um got a light here i don't know if you're going to be able to uh let's see but anyway it's this um it's this little mount right here okay it is broken clean in half i don't know if you can see that but uh anyway um that is the upper motor mount for the uh engine and you can see where i welded that now that that held together uh that thing held together for a while and uh but the beating and framing that brandon puts on it uh you know as a pro rider uh you know not a lot we can do there so anyway um so uh anyway uh for you can am renegade get, renegade guys y'all keep an eye on that uh the the, the sign of it is if your motors is is moving over as you throttle up a little bit you can just go along a little at a time and just throttle up the motor rocks like that you better check that uh that upper mount and the other thing is is uh there's, there's these little bushings that, that are up here in the front uh up in this area right here i don't know if you can see that but uh up in those areas if you see those mounts um are worn or gone well it's a good sign that that upper mount's gone too okay so you really need to keep an eye on that and uh uh, but anyway, uh, I have not yet found the exhaust leak on this thing. This thing does not have a battery in it. Brandon has robbed the battery out of it for uh, one of the other quads. So uh, it's, it's sitting right here. You can still see all the dirt and mud all over it. But um, I'm not sure if that's the one come out of this quad or if it come out of another quad. But uh, nevertheless, Brandon robbed the, the battery out of it, I'm sure, for one of the other race bikes, uh, you know, in, in, in desperation or something. Um, uh, I tried to order him one here a while back, and uh, the one that we buy uh, w was on back order. So, who knows? Uh, and I don't think we ever went back to it because uh, we was concentrating on those four races and didn't do it. So, anyway, um, I have not yet found the exhaust leak, so I was wanting to put a battery in it to try to start it up while I had this shroud off there so I could try to find this exhaust leak. But uh, probably not going to happen. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that off of there, that, at least that mount, go ahead and get that repaired. Um, I could pull the whole exhaust off because it's got to come off probably anyway um but it'd be interest be kind of interesting to figure out where it's at uh with the battery you know what i mean before i did that and uh of course there's no other renegades here uh the other two were up at derisi so uh, we only own three now because we had swapped the um the one green machine with the uh axis suspension we 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 traded it for this quad here back okay and mj hudonis is running that in 4x4b 
and GNCC and Florida patrol riders. He's running in ut open utility class and Florida patrol riders. So a uh, young kid going to do very well on it. And uh, as soon as he gets the hang of it. So, uh, but anyway, all right. So let me get this. I'm going to get this mount off here and, uh, and at least get that swapped out. And then let me figure out what I'm going to do with this exhaust. Right, well, I know I didn't get none of that filming, but uh, I can't hold the camera while I'm working out here. But uh, I did, I did, I was going to tell you guys something. Um, I did do me a tripod up uh right here um i put a little thing on there this is a little tripod here that i use for my skid steer business and uh, i was able to use it this past week i did a skid steer job up in up north of here but i don't know why i didn't think about that i could have i could have set that up over here but anyway hey listen this is where we're at um we got um cj and uh one of his friends out here curtis out here they're working on prius cars and i've been working on this thing here so listen so i got this off let me explain to you what i got uh, i got some problems um, all right, so this is the little mountain here that got broke. This is the this is the top motor mount. You can see that uh, it's broken. It's obviously supposed to be like that. I had welded this um, back last summer and uh, grind that down, flatten that down, and it's held up for a while. But this thing's been broken for a little bit because you can see there's nothing really shiny on it here. Um, so that's been broken a little while. Obviously that was just a patch and then we never did get back to it uh, to repair that, which we should have. Now you'll see another one sitting next to it here. This is the one that I pulled out of the uh, Can-Am Renegade parts. Obviously not the same. This is for the 1000, this is an 850. I don't know where this one is. Um, so I'll have to, have to ask Brandon. This is for the 1000. We've got several of these just because we replaced them on a rotation. Uh, because I think they're weak in this area here. Uh, this seems to be a little better because it's a little shorter than this one. But uh, anyway, I don't know where this one's at. I know we have it, uh, but we never did get around to changing it. So I've got it. Um, okay, so uh, I, did, I did find the exhaust leak. So let me tell you what I did. I took that little mount off and then I, I took that old crappy battery put in here okay that one that was laying over there on the bench there i took i took it over here and then put the uh the jump start on there just to start it up for just a second and see if i could see where the the exhaust leak was with all this stuff removed and sure enough um it was right here uh where the exhaust port bolts on the back side of the motor there's two cylinder motors cylinder here cylinder in the front cylinder in the back where it bolts on there and what was happening was whenever brandon would torque the motor up the motor would move back and forth and yep sure enough so it broke the it broke the tip off the exhaust here this is the header that goes this is this one goes on the back cylinder this one goes on the front cylinder you can see this one's intact in still but you can see the little ring. This is where it goes up in the cylinder head. Well, this one's laying here in my hand here. So uh, that would that would originally go onto there like that. And then, of course, this ring would hold it against the cylinder. But uh, that is broken. So uh, we got a really good welder in our group. But I don't know we're going to be able to get that welded back and, um, and be sufficient. Because uh, that thing's got to be at the right angle. And that kind of stuff and uh chad's a really good welder and he could weld that that is not the problem the problem is is getting it put back where it needs to go and not leak so not sure that i want to tackle that or even exhaust my efforts into that might be better just to buy a new one uh, not sure how long this will take to get a new one but uh, you can see that we do run the uh the hmf exhaust okay that's the exhaust lane over there, but um, I'm not sure they're going to be able to get us a new one here anytime soon because those guys are always backed up. But uh, I did spray some uh, fluid phlegm on these. Um, I got to get this. So, so, so this little section here is all I need, and it wise up. This section here I don't need, so it comes apart right there, but I couldn't get that off because this was broken. I put it in the vise, I guess, and get it off, but I'm going to let that sit overnight. Obviously, I can't put it back together tonight, so I need this wide part here. So I need the second piece to the header here. So anyway, um, that's where we're at on the Can-Am Renegade 850. Uh, up at Iron Man, um, I ran into some guys up there. I ran into a lot of you guys, and I appreciate you guys coming by and talking to me. And uh, I, can't, I can't believe how many followers and, and viewers that we have that just recognize us by face, uh, me and Brandon both. But a uh, woman uh, in particular guy I ran into, uh, he had just got a Can-Am Renegade and uh he had found one of my videos 
of how to take out the visco lock uh, I think we'd done that video heaven's sake a year ago or more and I guess he had he and his buddies had watched it the night before which is on Friday night before the race and uh, was going to get ready to do his so anyway that's pretty interesting that uh, you guys are are learning from some of the videos that, that we've done in the past and uh, um, but anyway that's cool but uh, I, I did I, I know you come up and, and and shook my hand and introduced yourself but god sakes I can't say I can't save this um, said to, to think of your what your name was but uh anyway hey uh we appreciate we appreciate all the viewers and uh, certainly enjoy doing this and uh all right so get with brandon tomorrow at work i'll ask him about what we're wanting to do with this header i'll ask him where that other mount is where he might think it is and uh maybe we can put this thing back together but uh I'm not sure what we're going to do i do have a um a, there's another exhaust laying down here um an empire empire uh, exhaust that we've got with a four-wheeler that we purchased I, I, I probably put that on just to test with and all that kind of stuff but that thing is loud really really loud and of course Brandon is um, uh, supported by HMF so uh, that would only be like maybe just a practice with and that kind of stuff I guess we could do that if worse comes to worse but don't really want to do that just because all the aggravation I'd like to get this HMF going I really like the sound and the power that this quad makes with those HMF exhaust on there so Okay, all right, let's calm down. Sunday night uh, around, what, 8.30? I think it's about time to quit and go in and uh, get ready for a, an awesome work week with my wife and at the golf cart business and uh, extremely busy up there and we're extremely blessed and uh, ready to get back after it again. So um, got a lot of stuff done yesterday and today up at the cart shop. Uh, me and my wife went up by ourselves, left the doors locked, although we still had people coming in um, we had to, I'll have to do a video of you guys I'll have to give you guys a video of our cart shop at some point it's a small shop not very big about 2,000 square feet okay um, and uh, so anyway when we go to work on things we got to pull everything outside to work on uh, like customer carts and new carts and that kind of stuff because we don't have a fenced in area and that kind of stuff and everything's got to come back inside at night so we cram everything in there at nighttime but some at some point I'm gonna do a video of uh, our little golf cart shop it's a cute little shop uh, air conditioned uh, got some really nice tools up there and uh, everything sort of organized and and that kind of stuff so it makes it makes it fun to work um, but anyway uh, had some guys coming up today and you know you know carts sitting out front and they just lifting up seats on them and you know thinking they're for sale but they were customer carts that I'd got finished up and uh, so anyway uh, got quite a bit done yesterday and today very happy with that and uh, not really tired you know my energy level is is high as you guys well know got a lot of energy and uh, um, I, my, my brain gets exhausted, but uh, physically I don't get tired, you know what I mean? And uh, just my brain, my brain gets a little slow sometimes and my wife has to straighten me out. So, uh, all right, as always guys, I appreciate you guys watching you, you, our, our videos and uh, uh, hope to bring you some more content. Hope, hopefully you liked what you saw this afternoon and uh, you know, we'll get this thing repaired and um, uh, just be on the lookout. You guys can't am renegade guy, guys, y'all keeping y'all keep on the lookout for that top motor mount. That thing's notorious about breaking. If we would have changed it uh, before now, obviously Brandon was practicing on this thing and used this for a practice break, we wouldn't have broke the exhaust, but now we've gotten a broken exhaust. So double the trouble just because we didn't change that. So anyway, um, uh, Brandon doesn't uh, hadn't been racing this thing. It's just been a, a practice bike for him being that we've got the other 1000. So we've let that go and that's what's happened. So we've got a broken header and got to get one, um, which is probably the issue. So hopefully I can get one sooner than later. So uh, appreciate you guys watching. Y'all like, comment and share. And I appreciate uh, every one of you guys watching. Thank you.